Hello. Well, for me, it's day six of water fasting in Bali. And I can tell you, it's not the easiest thing I've done, but I can feel it doing me good. Um, I'm in the most beautiful place to do it. So I'll just run you through a day. <laughs> In the morning we get up at 6 a.m. and we go down to the beach, which I absolutely love. Have a walk on the beach, watch the sunrise. I love the people here. The people are just so beautiful. Every morning it's like, Puggy, Puggy, that's saying good morning. Um, and we come back here and we do some exercises that Tyler's designed then Today they do their vitals, they do the blood pressure and all that and check pee on this strip every morning to make sure they'll see what's happening. That's really interesting. Then we don't know if you can see that over there, hang on. This is my little veranda I'm on now. Go for a little walk here. If I just turn around over there you can just see the sauna so then we come back and we sit in the sauna and over there that thing that looks like a fridge freezer that's the cold water plunge so we go in the sauna and we go in the cold water plunge then we jump in the pool <laughs> then we do it again we go in the sauna cold water jump in the pool it's pretty invigorating there was ice floating in the water today lots of ice in there so that was a big one. Um, yeah, so it's a great place to heal. There's a couple of us here, and today we get to welcome another lady. We'll be moving into this villa over here today. So there's four villas here. You get lots of personal attention. Our coach Bill is absolutely awesome. I love him to pieces. Um, yesterday we did an amazing breathwork session. He talked us through the whole breathwork session. A lot came up for me. I had some really big um, issues come up with my mother that's been bothering me because it was her birthday this week. My mother's passed away from cancer. Um, and some big issues around my mum and my dad. They came up and I was able to I realized what I had to do was forgive myself for some stuff and um, I let it all go. Then afterwards, my whole body really hurt really bad, like I was going to go into spasms. So it was just my body was letting go, all that past whatever, trauma, whatever it was, my body was letting it all go and then it went away. And then after that, at 12 o'clock every day, and I'm looking forward to today as well, over here, uh, but you can't really see it from here. It's behind that umbrella over there. There's a uh, meditation, not sorry, meditation room. The, the room that we go for massages. So the massages have been good. Nico is the reflexologist. He hurts. I got a few bruises from Nico, but he really knows, <laughs> he really knows what he's doing and he's moved a lot in me already. So um, today I think that we're having Adi, who's an energy healer. So I'm really looking forward to that. So basically it's been a, a beautiful journey. My oxygen levels were a bit low to start, but um, Bill's taught me how to breathe properly, not breathe through my mouth all the time. Take nice deep breaths in through my stomach, chest, so that's helped and up today when they put the oxygen meter on it was 100, so that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, and everything's going good. The toxins are coming out, having several enemas a day. Um, we've, got, we've got the choice of every kind of essential oil in the, that's our living room through there. I won't go in there at the moment in case there's people in there. But um, yeah, there's a, a living room in there. We've got the TV and everything we want. Now, tomorrow is Nippy. Nippy is 
the Balinese New Year and it's a day of silence. So tomorrow, all the Balinese people, nothing's open. They even close the airport for 24 hours. So tomorrow we're silent all day. Then Tyler has suggested that I do an extra two days of silence. <laughs> so I said, okay, I'll try that. So I'll be silent for three days. I'm not going to be on the internet. I'm not going to be texting. So if anyone texts me, um, I'll try and let all my friends know I won't be answering until Thursday. Yeah. Oh, I love the Balinese people. They're so amazing. And I love this, what they do. They've been getting ready for Nippi for a few days and having ceremonies and cleansing the land and honoring the gods and everything that they do. And tonight we're going to a parade. I think it's called a gog -a gog something like that. <laughs> they have a huge parade and they make this... Yeah, well, I might do some videos of that too. Um, this is like their New Year's Eve in preparation for near people, which is tomorrow. And they take it very seriously. Nothing. In fact, if you go walking out, there's guards out there. You could get arrested. So um, tomorrow we'll just be staying quiet all day. No electricity. Maybe at the allowed a little light at night. But, um, you know, so I won't be online or anything for three days. See how I go with that? Anyway, this is the most amazing place to come for healing. They've got it covered. The knowledge is so deep. They're really, really good here. They, um, yeah, I really think uh, I'm in really safe hands, in really loving hands, and I'm really re so glad I came here. Day six, I've only got, well, I'm doing 21 days, so um, I've got a bit to go. But it'll be okay. I'm not hungry at all. Drinking water, I'm not hungry. I do love the smell of food and I do fantasize a bit about food. <laughs> but that's okay. I love an avocado right now. <laughs> but that's okay. We can deal with that. All right. That'll be it for today and I'll talk to you next week sometime. <laughs>